Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. With all of the recent price action that's been happening, in particular over the last several weeks with XRP and certainly with Bitcoin as well and a number of other coins, really most coins, uh, everything generally, like, not literally perhaps, but uh, I haven't checked the, the market cap for every of the 5,000 coins, but pretty much everything, if not literally everything, is up compared to where it was just several weeks ago here. And some of this isn't terribly surprising that you can see. So here's a headline from a couple months ago titled XRP Comeback, Triple Buy Signal Triggers for Ripple. And they're talking about the idea in part what they're talking about is, uh, hey, something positive is going to be coming in terms of price action for, for XRP. And there seems to be this, this general consensus, if I, if I could call it that. Not that everyone literally agrees on exactly everything, but there seems to be this general agreement among chart analysts anyway, that uh, the, the bull market, we're in the beginning phases here. And we'll see, now I've heard that story before, so like I hear this from chart analysts, I'm like, okay, but I'm hearing it from just, it seems like just about all of them, it really does. And, and so as far as um, the XRP price action, it is true, according to many chart analysts, they, they would, they've certainly argued, uh, pretty much all of them, I can't think of one off the top of my head that hasn't argued this, that the, the two-year downtrend or more, two-plus-year downtrend of XRP was broken. And this is what we were waiting for. And then you have this headline, uh, ready for liftoff, two-year downtrend breakout could lead to $14 XRP. And so this piece was written um, earlier this year. Uh, it's like seven months ago. And so what they were waiting for, though, is wait. For, they're saying wait for the two-year downtrend to break, and we think it's possible that XRP could end up at $14. So I want to revisit this thing now that there seems to be some sort of broad agreement that, uh, that XRP has indeed broken the downtrend here. Um, I want to be clear that I'm not a financial advisor. I do not have a financial background, and you should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. Okay, so I want to be clear that I'm just your everyday Joe Schmo, member of the XRP community, and I'm here because it's fun to talk about this stuff and make YouTube videos. That's it. I'm, I'm not a professional in, in, in any capacity, um, you know, financially or, or as a trader, nothing like that. So talk to a, a financial professional for legitimate advice here. To me, it's just fun as a community to come together and get perspectives from other people that are all also in the XRP community, just kind of get a conversation going about this stuff. Um, now, before going any further, if you would please delicately tap that like button, I would definitely appreciate the support. But don't smash it, only dorks smash the like button, and you're a super cool person. Now, since I just gave you a compliment, you can return the favor by subscribing to the Moon Lambo channel. And a couple fun facts for you people that subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel are happier and they become more physically attractive. There is science behind that, I'm telling you. You will be more physically attractive if you subscribe. All right, so we've got uh, XRP at 28.3 cents as I record this. I think, I think that's exactly what it was at last time I, well, damn close. Last time I made a video about price, but anyway, Bitcoin's at $11,648, market cap for the asset class, 365 billion. And Bitcoin dominance is down a little bit from last I reported, 58.8%. Now, I, I, I want to point this out to you. So right now, I just have a 30-day chart pulled up with XRP, and you can see over the last 30 days, it's up 37.63%, but let me pull up the all-time chart. Take a look at this, because so, you know when we're talking about like the last parabolic cycle, and looking at the chart here, can you guess where it occurred? Maybe right here with this needle right here. It looks like a freaking needle. All right. Well, you know, before that happened, XRP had been trading sideways for, you know, more or less. And I understand, so it's like within a certain band of, of trading. So, I mean, it's still like volatile, quote unquote, even during this. But for six months, it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 cents, um, you know, plus or minus 10 cents at any given point, r roughly either direction. So around 20 cents on average, right, for half a year. And then it rocketed up, as you well know, to almost $4 in just a matter of weeks. So by early January, it went from 20-something cents to $4, and then it ultimately crashed back down. And so you could say, oh my gosh, well, you know, we were, it, it was at a certain level, and it went all the way up, and it basically retraced 100%. It's right back where it was at the end of 2017. And I say, well, technically that part's true, but you got to look at the whole picture, because the end of 2017 was not the beginning of XRP parabolic movement. In fact, and please be aware of this, it's interesting because the market cycle really began, you could argue for XRP at the beginning of 2017, because at the beginning of 2017, and I will highlight this right now, you can see it on your screen, it was about, uh, let's get up here, so it was probably about half a penny I'm thinking. One sec, there we go, almost in January. Okay, so here's January 7th just popped up, 0 0.006 cents. So about half a penny. 
So it's not the case that it was at 20 something cents went up to almost four dollars and then right back to where it was. No, no, no. It was at half a penny. And so what, what I'm what I wanted to illustrate here is that you always get, and I mentioned this in the video that just yesterday, you get um, higher lows even when you have these major retracements. This is something that is not unique to XRP. It just happens in crypto in general. You saw this with Bitcoin, you have 80 to 90 percent retracements, but the floor, no matter how bad it gets, it's always higher than the previous floor. That's how it historically it has always been anyway, right? And so when you're talking about XRP potentially getting up to $14, which I'm going to cover in just a second here, uh, you know, I, I, I do think, like, so say they're right, and it actually does get to $14 on this next cycle. And I don't know if it will or not. I'm not going to pretend to know. I don't make price predictions. I'm not, I just mean making stuff up. I don't want to do that. Um, you know, and, and the number 14, it doesn't seem outlandish to me if XRP is genuinely going to have staying power. I just don't know when that might happen. And so that's why I, I just I just don't make predictions. It's it's nothing like to me. It's not something that's so wacky. Oh my God, that's never gonna. I, I'm not like that. No, no. I, I I don't know how high XRP is ever going to get, but I suspect substantially higher than its last all time high. That would be my guess, right? Just I know it's kind of vague, but again, I don't make predictions. So um, you know what what's it gonna look like? So you get up to fourteen dollars potentially, and it, it maybe it re, it's gonna retrace. You know it's going to. If it's like say that's the the all time high. Say it gets there, it's gonna retrace. And I wouldn't be surprised if again it's eighty to ninety percent. But even so, you could still get into this world potentially where you're seeing instead of XRP regularly trade by a few pennies or five cents or ten, ten cents, whatever it is, it could be getting close to the point where it's regularly changing the price by you know a dollar or multiple dollars. And I suspect you will see that at some point in the future. And that's why all the belly ache and hear about price action, people are going to look with the benefit of hindsight and be like, oh, come on, you little punk asses. Why are you worried? You, you bought in at like 20 cents. That's, that's what I suspect is going to be happening here. But even just two months ago, here was the headline, XRP comeback, triple buy signal triggers for Ripple. And they write to XRP, the native cryptocurrency of the Ripple protocol, as among one of the worst reputations in the crypto space, despite enjoying longevity and the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market cap. And that's true. It does have a bad reputation because of Bitcoin Maxi tools. Basically, it's them that they, they're sour about it. Oh my God, a cryptocurrency that helps the legacy financial system. No, no, no. Uh, okay, yeah, it's them though, but level headed adults just don't give a flip. Like, we, we, we just were like, oh, huh, this is something that's legitimately useful. Maybe I will invest in it. Hmm. And ultimately, and I really want to jump to the next piece, so maybe I should just do that now, but they're just kind of making the point that basically XRP was at a point where it's like, hey, watch out. It's an inflection point, perhaps, might be happening. And as it turns out, two-year downtrend was ultimately broken, quite arguably. I think I think chart analysts just in general seem to agree on that. So now let's go to this, because they were talking about what will happen when the downtrend's broken, which has now happened. And they said, again, here's here it is. There's the headline, ready for liftoff. Two-year downtrend breakout could lead to $14 XRP. Uh, XRP, the cryptocurrency commonly called Ripple, yeah, only by Bitcoin maxi trolls that refuse to acknowledge that XRP and Ripple are different things. Uh, it really burns my biscuits. It is in the midst of breaking out from downtrend resistance that has kept the crypto asset at low prices for over two full years of bear market. A breakout from what appears to be a bull flag or pennant pattern could shock the crypto market with rapid explosive gains that could bring the price per XRP to as high as $14 each. Now, obviously with what happened with the pandemic, uh, that changed the narrative a bit, at least the timeline of the narrative, and this was before that, so keep that in mind. But still, ultimately, uh, my gosh, just, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, like, and none of this is financial advice. Did I say that? Yes, I did, I wanna say it again, uh, but I, I I think XRP at some point will go parabolic to what degree I don't know and I don't know when. It would be super weird to me if XRP actually never hit at least its all-time high. Can you imagine that? Especially if real-world adoption continues. That don't make no damn sense to Moon Lambo. But anyway, um, XRP, um, due to its association with the project's parent company, you know, oh my God, XRP does not have a parent company. That is the stupidest thing you could possibly write. Go home, you stupid drunk C student. I'm just kidding. I'm not actually trying to be mean. I'm just joking. But uh, <laughs> it's often among the most controversial altcoins on the market. Right. So uh, crypto investors dislike XRP due to it being arguably more centralized than Bitcoin or Ethereum, something that the firm's executives challenge on the regular. Yeah, I would challenge that, too. I would argue that XRP is uh, more decentralized than Bitcoin. There's a concentration of mining power in China uh, that you just can't gloss over. XRP doesn't even use mining. And uh, Ripple only controls six of 36 validator nodes 
on my last count. That's what's on their website right now, actually. So they have no special permissions. I would argue absolutely XRP less decentralized than, than Bitcoin. But anyway, regardless of if uh, XRP aligns with the early themes of why cryptocurrencies were created or not, it does little to indicate its success as a financial asset. Yeah, okay, so as, as far as it's, uh, you know, lining up with, uh, you know, with the, the, the early concepts of cryptocurrency, look, when, when XRP was created, they didn't know what the hell they were gonna do with it. They just created a better version of Bitcoin. That's it, so all this crap about how it's not aligning with early themes, this or that, no! There wasn't even a purpose for the damn thing. Like, David Schwartz has publicly talked about that as recently as a few weeks ago when he was on uh, Charlie Shrim's show his little podcast, right? And he was talking about, I was like, yeah, we didn't know we were going to do this damn thing, but we were early Bitcoiners, we just made it. Like, which sounds ridiculous, but that is what happened, right? <laughs> That's actually what happened. It's kind of cool, actually. Uh, but they ended up finding a use case for it now that they don't like the way that Ripple is choosing to push for XRP adopt. And now, oh my God, it doesn't align with the early things of crypto. It's like uh, XRP is just the bastard child now. Oh, it's so stupid. Anyway, and then it continues, and out of most altcoins, XRP is among the most widely used across banking institutions and cross-border payment services. Hey, thank you for recognizing. It also has among the most potential to disrupt the financial industry, giving it extreme speculative value. Well, isn't that the truth? That's why I'm happy to be here. Saying some stuff right here. Speculation in the past has caused XRP to surge, resulting in massive moonshots that have allowed early adopters to retire early. In fact, the past moonshot in XRP could provide clues to where Ripple may head. They mean XRP, right? Next, once it confirms the current breakout of downtrend resistance and begins to rally once again. So look, even the Bitcoin Maxi news websites, they know it's coming. They know that there's going to be another parabolic upshoot in terms of XRP price action, despite the articles they put out on the reg saying the contrary. They know what's coming. You can't stop. The XRP can't stop. Won't stop, player. Now, as what has happened in the past, and history often repeats, uh, once XRP broke out from downtrend resistance, it exploded over 6,000%. Yeah, well, if you look at the beginning, it depends on what the timeline. If you're talking about the beginning of 2017, what did, I remember Brad Garlinghouse say it increased by something like 60,000%. Whatever it was, it was ridiculous, so... Again, it just depends on the timeline they're talking about here. But the, <coughs> excuse me, Ooh, that came out of nowhere. I think I got me a touch of the COVID. <clears throat> there we go. <coughs> Good times. Yeah, yeah, Moon Lambo got it. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I got to take a sip of water. <coughs> oh, sorry about that COVID outburst, guys. Mm. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, the formation. <laughs> what the hell? I'm sorry, guys. Moon Lambo so unprofessional. Unsubscribe. All right, the formation of a long pole like structure and followed by consolidation at support in a descending manner are telltale signs of a bull flag, a bullish structure that suggests more upside is ahead. Bull flag targets are measured by taking the original flagpole and using it to estimate the advance to, the follow, uh, to follow the breakout. If the third largest cryptocurrency by market cap in the past rose 6,000% to form the flagpole, statistical data suggests that XRP could rise another 6,000 following this breakout, and reach prices of $14 per XRP token. While this may come as a shock to crypto investors who view the token negatively, XRP has the potential to disrupt the multi-trillion dollar cross-border payments industry currently dominated by SWIFT. Ripple's entire market cap is currently sitting at just $10.4 billion, uh, showing uh, the tremendous upside that XRP has above it. And there you go, a rare, perhaps accidental glimpse at the truth by NewsBTC.com. <laughs> XRP might disrupt the way money moves around the planet and perhaps even jump all the way up to $14. Well, look, I don't know if, if it's going to happen and if it's going to happen, if, if, uh, will it happen at the, the next parabolic cycle? I don't know. I wouldn't rule that, man. I really wouldn't because there's so little liquidity in this asset class relative to any other asset class on the frickin' planet, as I keep saying, and this is important. This is the reason it's not hard to have a tremendous multiplier effect, that combined with the fact that there is a frenzy around this technology. And wait, I'm telling you, once things get going, people are going to act like humans do, and they're going to FOMO in again. They're absolutely going to do it. And so I'm glad that I've had the opportunity to accumulate for years. And I inform myself of market cycles and a whole bunch of other stuff. And here I am now making YouTube videos about it, having a killer time. And thank you for joining me because uh, you are at the cutting edge of technology as well. But I'll wrap up here. Tell me what you think. We're getting $14 in the next cycle. I'd love to hear what you think. I'm not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.